G, welcome to the workshop! <laughs> I'm calling them my uh, 67 relics. Uh, they are heavily checked on the uh, finish, front and back. All of the parts are aged, and you can see a little bit more age there than there. Um, up here on the neck, uh, there's some aging, checking on the neck. I've got, got it on the back, even the back pieces are aged. Over here, I've got the aged knobs, the aged hardware. She definitely looks like she's uh, uh, 30, 40 uh, years old. But um, yeah, so basically, um, we got a mahogany body, a mahogany neck. Um, unlike my old uh, 91 Gibson Les Paul uh, that weighed about 13 pounds, this one weighs uh, um, about 8 pounds. And uh, so that's easy on the back, but you still get all of your tonefulness. The reason it's a little bit lighter is the body is just a little bit thinner. Still gives you all the bite and, uh, and uh, gur that a Les Paul is supposed to have, but uh, without the uh, back breaking uh, problem there. <laughs> it's time to uh, demonstrate the pickups. Oh, speaking of the pickups, these are um, PAF style humbuckers. Of course, they're chrome covered. You can see that. They are routed through the standard Les Paul electronics controls, your volume, volume, tone, tone. Um, uh, and then I've got a three-way switch up here, all standard Les Paul style. You will also notice that the headstock has the open book headstock. Shh. Let's not tell anybody about that. Um, that's it. Now it's time to demonstrate the pickups. I've got my uh, Crate GTD 15R uh, shop amp um, on the clean channel. And I will start out here in the bridge. That switch down. Bridge. Clean. <laughs>
up here. Now I'm at 75%. She's a, she's a screamer. She's a rocker. She's a, a screaming rock and roller. And um, she could be yours. Um, I build lots and lots of these. These seem to be my most popular model. If there's um, some variations to this that you'd like me to make, uh, shoot me an email and uh, we'll put one together specifically for you. Thanks for watching. My name's Mike Gene. I'm out.